Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby and today I'm gonna be doing like a first impression on the Daisy Marquez um, X BH Cosmetics new palette. Uh, honestly, this is freaking cute. Have you guys seen these colors? Look how gorgeous. They are gorgeous. And I actually did this spring look uh, using her palette. So if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have not, then subscribe. Hello. And also don't forget to click that bell icon notification to get notified every time I upload on YouTube. This is my first video doing a first impression. So I hope you like it. And like I said, if you want to see how I got this makeup look, then keep on watching. So I'm going to be grabbing a Morphe M433, which is like a fluffy, a fluffy brush. And I'm going to grab this color right here, um, naked, and put it all over my lids. So this color here is actually going to be working as our transition color. So now that we have this color on, I'm going to be grabbing a BH Cosmetics fluffy brush this is from a collection i don't remember which collection it was um but this is a number eight fluffy brush from beach cosmetics and with this brush i'm going to be grabbing um this color vintage right right here and i'm going to be adding this color on the outer part of my lid So I'm going to grab a little bit more of the shade Naked, which is our transition color, to diffuse and blend out these harsh edges. Now that we have this color on, we let's go and cut the crease. To cut my crease, I'm going to be using the Tarte creaseless concealer in shade light medium so i'm going to be cutting the crease off camera and i will be right back now that i've cut the crease i'm going to be grabbing a flat brush this one's by elf it's a regular flat brush with this flat brush i'm going to be grabbing this color it's like a pinky really pretty so I'm actually going to be spraying my brush with some Fix Plus and see to get a little bit more pigmentation. And with this shade, I'm actually going to be applying it all over where we did our cut crease. Honestly, I am loving this palette. Beautiful. <laughs> so now going back with the same brush that we used to apply this color, I'm just going to be adding a little bit more to darken it and actually blend the two colors together. Blend out a little bit more of these edges to smooth it out. I'm actually just going to be going back with the Morphe M433 and using the shade Naked, which is a skin color. It was our transition color. Oh, oh, oh. 
With the same color naked, I'm actually just gonna be grabbing another like fluffy flat brush from the BH Cosmetics collection. Um, this one's a number nine. I'm just gonna be applying the shade naked on my brow bone. Now that I have these colors, I'm actually just gonna grab some lashes. I'm gonna be using the Doo Doo Lashes in D115. Look like these. They're so beautiful. These are actually my favorite lashes. I use these literally every day with makeup, without makeup. They just look gorgeous. I feel like they're really natural and wispy. It just it looks beautiful. I feel like these lashes can literally go with anything. It's just beautiful. Now that we have our lashes on, I'm going to be grabbing the same color I used on the outer corner, Vintage. On the lower part of my eyes, on my lower lash line. <laughs> Now that we have finished our lower lash line, I'm gonna be adding um, a Morphe eyeliner pencil in the vibes. It's a brownish color, and I'm just gonna be doing my eyeliner. I hate that my eyes get so watery when I do my eyeliner. Okay, I have the eyeliner on, finally, but my eyes get so watery, but so far, I've been loving this palette. I feel like these colors are so beautiful. They are so pigmented. Um, obviously, I just used so far three colors from this palette, but I'm thinking I'm gonna be adding um, this like Tiffany blue um, color on the inner part of my eyes, this dream color. I feel like it's so beautiful. But look how pretty this color is, like, oh my god. So I'm gonna be applying that uh, dream color, the blue, um, with a Morphe M321. <laughs> with this brush, I'm gonna, just gonna apply that beautiful blue dream color right here on the inner part of my eyes. And let's see how that looks. Oh, that looks so pretty. I love it. Now that we have finished the eyes, let's start doing our gara. So before we start doing our gara, let's wipe off any extra like eyeshadow, um, color that might have fallen out so I'm just gonna clean this so I did have some makeup on I don't know if you were able to catch that but I had an eyeshadow on me still so just wiping that off so I'm actually these makeup wipes I freaking love them they smell so good and I love the fact that one side is like really smooth. Um, it's like a really good smooth to remove your makeup. And then on the other side, it's like um, to exfoliate. These are from Sephora. They're the exfoliating wipes. Nice. I, I freaking love these. I love them. So now that we wiped all the extra stuff away, I'm just going to go in with my Smashbox photo finish primer and I'm actually just gonna apply it pretty much on my t-zone um I hate when the weather changes because my skin starts getting pretty dry like right here on my on my t-zone especially on my nose I hate that it's so freaking bad um 
but my skin is more like a combination mm, I feel like it's a combination it just obviously seasons change your skin you need to change everything up but I typically get dry right here but then again at the same time I start getting oily on that same area like that's so weird Now that I've done that, I'm just gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation, which is this one. And I'm actually in the shade Light Sand. I've been loving this foundation. Honestly, I know they um, they brought out a new one. Um, well, honestly, I love this one. good on that and now let's go into my ojeras unfortunately this thing I've always hated and I don't know how to fix it I don't know if it's probably I don't know but I get these freaking lines under my eyes that I can't seem to get rid of I don't know what to do help a girl out um but anyways i'm gonna go back with my tart creaseless concealer and i'm gonna conceal my ojos i'm in the uh shade light medium it's the same concealer i use to cut my crease Again, I'm just gonna go back in with my Tarte Beauty Blender and just blend this out. Okay, now that we have done that, I'm gonna conceal under my eyeballs with my Laura Mercier uh, Pelta. I'm gonna wipe all the excess off. Now to contour my face because I am looking white. Yes, I can stay wet up, but I'm lying down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be going in with the Morphe Highlight Contour Palette in A L, and I'm gonna be using this color right here. And I'm actually just gonna go with the regular, like, slanted bronzing brush from Elf. The Litchi Plus Gold from Surfing Botanicals. But it looks like this. I'm gonna be using a Beach Cosmetics brush. Looks like this. And it's from the same collection I had mentioned earlier. I am gonna grab a little bit because it is really pigmented.
Now I'm just gonna go in with some highlight. I'm gonna be using the MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralize Skin Finish. It's really dirty, but look how pretty. For my highlight, I'm gonna go with another BH Cosmetics brush and So now that we have finished pretty much our entire face, I'm gonna go in with a nude lip liner. I have no idea where this is from. It, like all the letters have erased, um, but it's one of my favorite ones and I'm actually almost out of it. I'm just gonna line my lips and then we'll go into uh, the lippy I'm gonna use. Uh, I'm gonna go in with Velvet Teddy from MAC Cosmetics. I am literally almost out. It's one of my favorite nudes. <sighs> And yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I'm actually gonna go in to set my face with the Mario Benescu Skincare, the facial spray of a rose water. It just smells so good. It's the one I'm gonna go in with. I completely love the palette, the Daisy Marquez palette. It's beautiful. It's so cute. Like, honestly, like, honestly, how cute. Like, a little vanity. Beautiful. And then these colors, gorgeous. They are beautiful. I love how they feel. <sighs> I freaking loved it. I am excited. Like, I want to try other looks but so far this is the end product i loved it i hope you guys liked this video um like i said the daisy marquez palette with bh cosmetics is just beautiful i love the colors i loved its uh, color scheme this is it if you liked my video then please like it don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the little bell icon to get notified every time i upload on youtube this is kind of brand new to me but i hope you guys liked it and if you try to recreate this makeup look don't forget to tag me let me know show me show me what you created your recreation but you can follow me on social media i'm gonna be putting my social media accounts somewhere around here but i hope you guys like this video and yeah